So Kerry, through to the SSC Scottish Women's Cup final, how does it feel? Um, amazing, yeah. Delighted, absolutely delighted the girls worked their socks off that game. We knew we were potentially underdogs and we knew we had to step up and be disciplined and go with the game plan and give everything we've got and I think we've done that, so absolutely delighted for everybody involved, yeah. Give us an idea, but in the lead up to the game, what was the preparation like <coughs> for your squad? Um, a lot of excitement, you know, kind of relaxed vibe as well, you know. Um, I didn't think we were expected to get here. Brand new form team at the start of the season. Um, we've done well domestically, so just relaxed and go in and enjoy the game. And Gaffer told us just enjoy it and stick to the game plan, and, and, and that's what we've done. So it was. It was quite a relaxed atmosphere. Everybody was buzzing for it. Obviously, I think you know in the build up, <coughs> the underdogs think as well. Labelled yourselves as that coming mm. into it against Spartan. When the game started, what was going through your mind in the way it was playing out? What did you did you see from Spartans perhaps in the early stages of the game? Well, we were focused on ourselves really. You know, we knew what we were going to do first ten minutes, and that was just go and get at them and get in their face and and see how they react to that. Um, we always focus on ourselves rather than, than what they're going to do. And to be honest, I think they maybe didn't expect that from us, so it was maybe a wee bit of shock. So it, it was good to get that as well, get, kind of starting on, on the front foot and obviously going 1 0 up as well. So it was good to get that. It puts a wee bit of confidence into the girls as well to carry that through the game. Obviously, we've always talked about <coughs> half time, you're going in level. Give us an idea what was said at the half time that maybe spurred you on, especially in the second half. Yeah, same again. It was, it was quite relaxed at half time. You know, we know what we're capable of on the pitch, and we're all trusting each other as, as a team and as a unit. So, one one is just back to nil nil again. So we knew we had to go out and, and do the exact same thing and try and get another foothold in the game. And obviously we did that. Obviously you're through now to the final up against Hibernian, one of the top teams in Scottish women's football. Yeah. How excited do you think you and the squad is already knowing that fact as well? Yeah, well that's that's the games you want to play in really. You know, the, the best team in probably by a clear mile just now in, in the women's game. Um, so that's games you want to play in, playing against the best players in the country. Um, if anybody's not excited for that game then probably shouldn't be playing football to be honest. So I think myself, the whole team, the coaches, everybody will be absolutely buzzing to get there and play, play against the top elite players in the country. Obviously, great venue as well for Hill, uh, not too far away from Motherwell as well. Uh, what would you say to, to all the fans of, of Motherwell as a whole to, to get them to Yeah, come along? absolutely, get along. We'll try and get as many people as possible there. Um, I'm sure the media guys will do us proud with that as well and get the Twitter pages up. But um, I am hoping for, for a big support there for us.